Are you gonna tell us who you are? June Osborne was apprehended today. They can't save her this time. Last time we didn't get to say goodbye. We will find each other again. There are consequences for disobeying God. I want to tell my son that his father's killer. He's gone from the earth. I'm going across. Luke has, in some ways, been guilty of being a little passive sometimes. And I think this season, you see a little bit more of his drive for immediate action, a bit more of a visceral reaction to what's going on. Luke has always been a very grounded character. He's never given up on his quest to get his own daughter, Hannah, back. I'm not gonna go home and watch Hannah turn up on TV again with Serena. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going with you. This season, we focused in on June and Luke figuring out, are they going to be a couple and what kind of couple they're going to be? I think there was a period where June was not the June that Luke married. They don't reconnect like they were in the past. They connect again in the present. Ladies, oh my Mrs. Serena Joy Waterford. I think Serena's definitely realizing the power in her pregnancy and what she can do with that. Canada is suffering the same fertility crisis. Every country around the world has been suffering. And now Gilead is making babies. Gilead has somehow figured it out. It's just such a rare sight to see a, a pregnant woman and how much power she does have in it and setting herself up as the spokeswoman for Gilead. I think we should focus on fertility. A fertility center open to all that focuses on children. People will be clamoring to keep the doors open. I think Serena's kind of relentlessly impressive. It's this power play. She's realizing she really can have a voice, especially now that she's pregnant and has her own child. We can't let a few simple rules get in the way of God's will, can we? The core of much of dramatic television is to find a world and bring that world to life. They may be in the middle of the woods. They may be a bowling alley that's been abandoned. Our locations department is the best in the world. They're the best I've ever worked with. We'll design a scene around a location. We find something great, and guess what? That scene's now taking place over there. I think the audience comes to it saying, we love that we don't know where this journey is gonna take us. Our crew wonderfully and brilliantly delivers on that year after year after year.